Hey guys, it's Amara. I'm in Seattle and I'm doing something so exciting. Princess decided to join me. Hi, baby. Hi. Princess knows this is a big day because this is a big day in the life of any young YouTube creator. This is the day I do my first Primark haul. If you live in a place where Primark is around, it's probably not a big thing. Like my buddy Holly just did a tutorial where she did a bunch of pant DIYs and she just hopped into Primark, got a bunch of pairs of pants. But there are not a lot of Primarks in the US. I've heard there are a few, but I was under the impression there were none, but there's not one in Seattle right now. However, as you all know, I was recently in Amsterdam, and while I was in Amsterdam, I even met a girl whose channel is called I Love Primark. And because her channel is called I Love Primark, and I liked a lot of the things she was wearing, and because I'd always wanted to go to a Primark, because I watched a lot of British YouTube, by gum, y'all, guess who went to Primark? It's me went to the special Primark in Amsterdam, and here's a little footage of me going shopping in my first Primark. There she is, y'all. And this fish. The momoku. I don't know what that is. I am right outside super special Primark, and it's very exciting because there are no Primarks in Seattle, and so we're gonna do this. Also, it's exciting because this Amsterdam Primark is apparently a special one. Boom. It's because I love you guys. And I am hopefully gonna love the Primark. <gasps> is that a salmon up there? It's a fish. That's tile. Can you see that's all tile work? Look at all that. Like a bicycle. Another fish. Gear. I think these are, they call them like trilobites, I think. Uh, the little underwater sea creatures. I've actually touched one in North Carolina. They have them in touch pools. I do not know what the point of this fish is. But it is here. And it's got like the, the Amsterdam X's and it says take some Momokum with you. What is Momokum and how do you get it from this fish? Here's what I know, friends. When I was first walking through here, the first time, the first day I got in here, the thing I noticed was that all these people had their kids and they were holding their kids over this. You guys ready to watch this? So, it's fish water. I, it smells like water. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Put it on my hair. There we go. So, uh, it looks a bit like a Pokemon. Did I find a new Pokemon in Amsterdam? And then it spit on my hand? <laughs> also, they've got these like really cool like Dutch wall pieces here. Do do do. I'm looking forward to looking at all this little stuff. Look at how shiny this is. Just like it's hologram fantastico. That. This is like if Mara blew up in a Betsy Johnson ad. Officially should have got one of these before I started this week. I don't know if you guys can see because of the angle. It says mermaid essentials. Like who doesn't need that? She had a little bit of footage while well behind me. It's just like a world of shiny things. Aww, I'm a mermaid gang. That's super cool. Homie, I get it. I love Rye Mark. I get it. Look how pink everything is. Oh, pink zone. Look like Kelly Kapowski. It's like hashtag life goals. Anyway, I'm seriously gonna try on clothes and I don't have room to take them home. So something's gonna have to get pitched. Mars got a fashion up. As if this isn't good enough and I'm not excited enough and you haven't already gotten me on this whole like Primark thing. There's Wi-Fi? What? <laughs> Stunned. I've straight up gotten to a place where I literally sometimes stand in an area and do this. Because this isn't just like, a, I guess, a normal size Primark. There's three floors of women's stuff, and then there's a floor of accessories, and then there's a men's floor. I'm on floor three. Things are still really pink. Adorable. I'm going to spend all my money. I found a, a thing. I'm not going to take this, although it's a nice water can. I'd like to have it, but I don't want to try and get this home. Maybe. Not yet. Tomorrow? Today? Maybe later today. Who knows? I went to the Primark. Madness video when we get home. But so yeah, there's gonna be a Primark haul. Princess is very excited. Now that you guys have seen that I went to the Primark in Amsterdam, in Amsterdam, and that I thought it was super fun. I was so happy about it, I've saved this bag, which let me tell you, the Primark bag did not have the easiest time getting back from Amsterdam. Do 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 do. Let's start with this. Oh man. I looked at all the scarves, and scarves are kind of a temptation for me all the time because it's almost always scarf weather in Seattle, but this one, like, 
Hello, hashtag mermaid times. It is a sparkly blue mermaid scarf. It's got this great pattern on it. So from afar, it's just gonna look like it's got a good bit of luster on it. And it's got hologram seashells on it. Ugh, just jetem. And it's also a light blue. I don't have a light blue colored scarf, so that's a win for me. And it's a little mermaidy, which is always a win for me. The one size, it was five euros. Well, and it opens up full size, just so you guys know, like a normal full on pashmina. Woo. There you go. Woo. Ugh. So excited about this summer, all primarky in the US. Three euros, I found these sunnies. I know, there's a little ombre they go, they look like a unicorn frappuccino. What? This was before that happened. All right, so we have, they go from like a purple to a blue. Look at these sunnies. They were three euros. Put these sunglasses on. Do I look awesome? I can't tell you, I can't see anything. When I wear sunglasses uh, like these, like sunnies like this, I always throw my contacts in. Ooh. I also got this pair. These were four euros. These are much more Sasha Fierce. I've never seen a pair of like kind of disposable, like cheapy sunglasses that have these like metal points on them and I just thought they looked so cool. Ooh, again, I can't see anything, but Look at that, mmm, mmm, posing, mmm, mmm. There you go, hello. This is another one of these little choker chains. This one's in a white, and for 150 euro, honestly, I haven't seen any that were solid white. I did recently pick up one in the US that is Rainbow from Claire's. I love these kinds of chokers. When I was a little girl, they came in quarter machines. You'd like put a quarter in, turn the dial, and sometimes you could get one of these. I wore them so much that when my first, they used to call them tattoo necklaces, I don't know if that's what they still do. When I lost my first solid black tattoo necklace as a teenager, I was so sad. And when they came back in style, I pretty much just like was like, whoa! Two euros fifty. This is the Primark, it's a nine pack of earrings. And it's on all kinds of stuff. This is super, super basic earrings. These are all like gold colored. We've got some like star looking ones that have little like faux gemstones in them. Little half circles, there's triangles, there's stars, yin yangs, teardrop, half moons. These are straight up just whirly giggy circles. And then actually some crosses too, with little Madonna throwbacky. Nine pairs of earrings that are pretty basic staples. Some with sparkles, some without. Mix and match would be totally plausible. I may actually, as I've been known to do, wear one or two of these with one that doesn't match. I picked up this one. This is 250 and another set of nine. Little earring packs like this, really you can only get them at like Claire's unless they're higher end. I mean, I guess you've got like Forever 21's the closest you come to in the US. But this one has like, pearls and all kinds of like star shapes. These look kind of romantic. Just like simple little earrings. Again, a whole bunch. This set, this is the Moonstone set and I'm gonna apologize to you guys right now because these were little hearts that look like a color changing hearts. I've worn them so they're out. They're actually in my jewel case. This whole set was two euros. There's uh, six different sets of earrings instead of nine pack here. So I picked that guy up. Again, just simple options for earrings, and I've already worn the one pair a couple times. For three euros, these are imitation septum jewelry. This is, you're just nice little nose rings, little like septum nose rings, but they're fake. And I actually wore one in one of my vlogs already. I wore one when I went to SakuraCon, and I went to the dance party that night, and I kind of kept feeling like I needed to pull them out. But I will tell you, they were pretty fun, and I will definitely wear them more. There are some that have like faux gemstones in here. There were actually five of them that came with it and there are four in there now because I used one. No mom, don't worry, I haven't pierced my nose. This is just imitation septum jewelry. Giant gold hoop. They were Euro 50. I picked these up specifically because I Heart Primark was wearing them at one of the panels and I just kept, I looked at her at one point and I said, I love your jewelry. And we had just been talking about how she had a Primark channel. And then she said, well, they're from Primark. So right here, they're giant hoops. I occasionally really do wear giant hoops, but I haven't had a set in a really long time. Pretty big, I mean, they're like palm-sized circle hoop. One last little thing that's kind of an accessory. I couldn't say no to this, it was four euros. I mean, just look at it. This was just too adorable. I'm gonna attach that to a laptop case. Woohoo, I'm cute, go with me everywhere. Hmm? Or maybe my book bag, ooh, I don't know. Where should I attach this thing, you guys? Thoughts? Now we're gonna move on to actual clothing. I picked up just a few pieces of clothing because I had not really any room for travel packing. This was from the clearance section. Doo-doo-doo. 
It's a black skirt with these like little tiny stars. It's just a little midi skirt. I picked this guy up because of the fact that I just couldn't imagine I wouldn't get a lot of use out of this. I mean, it looks a little bit like 4th of July, but to be honest, it also is just such a good pattern that from far away, you're gonna get the spots, you're gonna get like the polka dot situation, and then you get closer and you get the detail. They're not just polka dots, they're stars, yay! So I'll put together some outfits for that. This skirt was 11 euros, but honestly, you guys, I think it was on clearance for like four. And then I picked up this one, little sleeveless bird top right here. There's ruffling right down the center. We've got these kind of like beautiful showy birds. But what I really liked about it, it, while it's a black top and it's very femme, got like little bits of lacing on the collars, it's also got these just crazy colorful patterns going on. Like if you don't even look at the birds as birds, you can just see that there's really good color across this whole top and I didn't have anything that was kind of wistful and romantic that also had this bold of coloring behind it so I thought that was really neat. This one ran eight euros. I don't think I have any bird clothes. The last thing I picked up that I'm really excited about because this kind of top is really something you have to make for yourself in the U.S. Oh my gosh look at it you guys. It's just a little sweetheart top with a little bit of ruffling. Cherry patterned. This is so delightfully rebellious. It's even got some like this isn't an actual seam but it's got a fake little like line of tiny little pink buttons. Y'all, this is gonna be my jam this summer. I just know it, I'm very, very excited. I love like rockabilly type things in general. It's a nice standard rockabilly thing and hopefully it'll inspire me to create more rockabilly kind of clothing, so. Shimmy shimmy, woo. Picked up uh, one other thing and it's a little gray tank top with a big rose on it. I've worn it a couple of times and I think it's actually gotten into my clothing hamper. So guys, that was my first ever Primark haul. Nothing left in the bag. Thanks so much my friend, I love Primark. You were totally right. Interesting place, totally worth loving. So I'm really excited to add these things into my life. It's really cool to get to check out a clothing shop that's really standard in Europe, but we don't have here. And I'm really excited about the things I found. So you guys keep your eyes peeled to everywhere. My social medias, Facebook page, Adamar in Seattle. Instagram, Adamar in Seattle. Pinterest, Amar in Seattle. Twitter, Adamar in Seattle. YouTube, Amar in Seattle. Amar not in Seattle, Amar in Seattle vlogs and Snapchat, also Amara in Seattle. It's as if me and Primark had the same idea. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like Primark, like the video. If you don't like Primark, you'd still like the video. I don't go there often. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and you want more crazy, mad, amara -ness, extra bonus content fabuloso, hit the subscribe button. That's how you're part of the next adventure. Let me know in the comments below which of these things you like the most or if you have any of these things. Something you love to pick up at Primark in case I see another one the next time I go a traveling internationally. Lastly, what is something you really loved that you've purchased while you've been traveling? If you need even more Amara in your life, we've got the main channel, that's Amara in Seattle, lifestyle as an adventure. We also have Amara not in Seattle, that's the travel channel. New videos every Tuesday. I hope you all have an excellent rest of the day. XOXO you guys, Amara in Seattle. And Princess, she's over here. We're vlogging. Now I can use my Primark stuff, doodah, doodah. Now I can use my Primark stuff, Amara's gonna go make outfits. Bye.